Doamnelor și domnilor, ce vedeți pe ecran în fața dumneavoastră este Pacific Drive, un joc care urmează, ca teme mi-e rușine spun că nu știu când dracu urmează, nu-i problemă, aflăm la final, 22 februarie, e, ia uite-l, cam aflat. Este unul dintre my greats of the year ca așteptări, deci sunt, uh, nu hyped, dar am, am speranțe că va fi bun, e un fel de dredge, dar cu mașina. O să aflăm imediat uh, care e treaba și în sfârșit avem și noi un gameplay uh, spus direct de la, de la developeri. Deci hai să urmărim asta și să vedem ce aduce Pacific Drive. E, din, mie din prima mi-a plăcut în primul rând în atmosfera. E post-apocaliptică, distopiană, cu puțin uh, mister science fiction. Uh, hai, hai să vedem. Hai să vedem ce aduce asta. Hi, I'm Alex Draycott. I'm the creative director over at Ironwood Studios. And I'm Seth Rosen, the game director on our first title, Pacific Drive. We're going to take a look at the game today. It's a driving survival crafting adventure. Driving survival crafting adventure. Deci cum e dregi? Adică te sui la volanul unei mașini, te duci în lume, adun resurse, te întorci înapoi la garaj, faci upgrade la mașină, iar te duci în lume și toate alea. Și ai zis că e roguelike, nu? Title Pacific Drive. We're going to take a look at the game today. It's a driving survival crafting adventure set in the Pacific Northwest. We find ourselves here in the Olympic Exclusion Zone, where your only lifeline is an old station wagon. We're going to start this walkthrough in the garage. There's no rogue like. Okay. Operations where you start and end. Dar are are element, elemente care se suprapun cu un rogue like. Ca de exemplu asta găsitul de resurse când te duci în lume și vii înapoi. Deci e nu e neapărat mission based, e objective based mai mult every trip. Eventually it'll start to feel like home and while it can be upgraded, the car is the real star of the show. It's not just a vehicle, it's also the key to your survival. Each part has a purpose and they can be swapped and upgraded. Oh, that nu știam că e chiar atât de deep ăsta. Nice, au gândit o bine, băieți. In the garage, everything is either for taking care of your car or for helping you prepare. Maintaining the integrity of your car is important. It's your shield against most dangers out there. For folks who take regular trips into the zone, you're going to need every bit of help you can get. Speaking of which, you've got to know where you're going before you leave the garage. On this map, you'll scout routes for your next trip. It gives a Okay, a run-based game asta e. Și tu ți alegi misiunea în funcție de ce ai nevoie. Asta e deva prea complicat aici. Sunt dau seama nici nu. Okay. Preview of what you'll be up against on the right side of the screen. And once you've decided on your destination, You can select it and the scanner on the roof of the garage will highlight the road. Șase ore durează drumul. Asta vrea să zică. It leads you there. It will also reveal some information about the uh, roadside attractions that you'll pass by. Looks like it's time to get ready to go. First thing we want to do is top off our fuel. We can always grab some while we're out in the zone, but it's certainly safer to do while we're here in the garage. Start the next thing we want to do is check for missing doors and panels that may have been destroyed or misplaced on a previous trip in the zone. Oh my god. Oh my god, ce e aici? Oh, puțin ca un prea aglomerat hadul ăsta. Like, sunt sigur că îi dai de cap rapid. De exemplu, mă rog, nu și trusa asta, dar ăsta e medkit, ăsta e la portiere, nu am idee, ăsta, nici ăsta, probabil roț aici. Engine, baterie, de fapt ăsta e engine, baterie, ăsta e ulei ar fi, sau? Deci da, hai să-ți dai seama despre ce e vorba aici. Și uite, îți faci first aid kit, scrapper, hand, reusable flare. Repair party, este un fel de crafting table, presupun. Da, craft. We're missing a door, so we're... Ah, și tu ai asta, și îți iei resurse. Scrap, metal, plastic, glass, shards, ca să-ți faci una din asta de aici. Uh, Bifezi toate astea, dai craft. Ok, ok, cool. We're gonna go ahead and craft a new one. Now that we've got the part in hand, the labor itself should be pretty quick. Oh, looks like something's up with our tire. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Looks like we got a flat. Since we're back at the garage, we're going to replace it with the spare that we've got on hand, but with the right tools, we could fix that puncture while we're on the road. Now that that's sorted, we also want to grab a scrapper, which we'll use to gather materials while we're out there. And one last status check before we get behind the wheel. Looks like our battery is a little bit low, and we don't know exactly how long we'll be out in the zone, so we should take care of that. So let's flip the switch and hit the road. If we do get caught with no charge remaining, the car will still start, but no headlights at night is a recipe for disaster. Ce tare, deci dacă te prinde cu bateria descărcată, nu beneficiezi de avantajele astea, precum faruri, deși au făcut-o în așa fel încât să nu trebuiască să dai restart. E interesant. 
We could hang out in the garage and detail the car or research new upgrades. What we really need right now is more crafting supplies. So instead, we're gonna head out, explore some new areas, and scavenge for materials. Let me duck out a combat drone. Each time you exit a level, the rap map appears and you'll pick the next stop on your road trip. Mama, what did you say? Crackling crawler, no, still not recognized. Do you want to stick to your... Mă mir dacă ăștia sunt înamici sau... ...your plan. Or maybe the zone has changed your plans. You need to come up with a new one. Either way, it's your choice. But for now, let's stick with our original destination. As we roll into this junction, we're looking for any resources or buildings we can scavenge for supplies. We can check our surroundings with the map on the passenger seat to see if there are any points of interest or structures worth investigating, but not everything is on the map. It's important to keep your eyes peeled. We're currently in the damp forest, which is one of our biomes. Each is different with their own resources to gather and hazards you'll have to avoid. Pacific Drive also features a dynamic time of day and weather system. Dynamic time of day and weather system. Cool. Cool. And since we're in the Pacific Northwest, there's about as much rain as you'd expect. And there's even stranger weather to get caught up in as well. Mi îmi place setting-ul ăsta de Days Gone în Pacific Northwest cu pădurile astea, munți pe lângă, presupun. Dar îmi place like, atmosfera, cred că e 9 din 10 până acum. Mai ales că e și un mister pe acolo, tot e pare post-apocaliptic. Rain and driving surfaces will affect the way your car handles, so drive... O, oh, ce tare! Deci, uh, rain and... cum a zis? ...danger weather to get caught up in as well. Rain and driving... Așa, ploaia și suprafețele de conducere um, afectează modul în care se comportă vehiculul. That's cool, adică dacă are, dai pe gheață, alunești mai mult. Cool că s-au gândit la gameplay modifiers de genul ăsta. Nice. Surfaces will affect the way your car handles, so drive careful. As we mentioned, this is a survival crafting game. But unlike most games in the genre, you're going to need man-made materials rather than natural to keep your car running. Your car is your lifeline. If you take care of it, it will take care of you. To do that, <laughs> Ați văzut? Deci cu asta uh, distruge alte mașini pentru resurse și cu un aspirator le ia pe toate. Your car is your lifeline. If you take care of it, it will take care of you. To do that, you're going to need to scrap abandoned vehicles for parts, pilfer deserted buildings, and craft higher tech tools to recover some of the more exotic things that you'll find in the zone. There is more in the peninsula than abandoned ruins and radiation. Watch your back for lurking pickpockets and tourists, and don't leave your car unattended. Abductors have been seen hurling entire vehicles off of cliffs. Now, the chest has some type de inamici. Ste trag într-o parte ca să 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 dea cu dauna. Ia uite, aici este starea vehiculului. Ca andrej. If you manage to scan any of these anomalies, you'll learn more about their background, and they'll show up on your map when you're planning your routes. But as a note, familiar and anticipated does not mean safe. Every time you visit a junction, certain aspects will be different. The zone causes all manner of things to get jumbled, like different anomalies infesting the area, as well as resources and buildings appearing in new places. Worse yet, large atmospheric shifts can form and pass nearby, bringing increased anomalous activity. It's generally a good idea to give these things a wide berth, but with the right gear, you might just be able to use it to your advantage. The only thing keeping this chaos at bay are these little pieces of tech called anchors. They've been installed all across the zone in a desperate attempt to stop its expansion. For decades, they've been sitting and absorbing energy from the instability. Luckily for you, the arc device installed in your passenger seat is tailor-made to store that collected energy. Anchors, and the energy extracted from them, are the most important resource in Pacific Drive. Back at the garage, you'll need it to unlock new crafting recipes and upgrade the garage itself. Okay, deci te duci și aceste ancore, cum se mai cheamă, ca să-ți faci dai unlock la progression system. Sau în progression system ca să-ți upgradezi vehiculul. Ok, deci asta este main resource. Sau most important resource. I get it. Self. But more pressingly, anchors are your way home. In the zone, it's not safe to drive back the way you came, so you need to find another way. A, ce tare! A zis că nu, nu-i safe să conduci pe unde ai venit și trebuie să-ți găsești alt mod. Deci nu te plictisești că conduci înapoi fix pe unde ai mai trecut o dată. Well, e interesant. E interesant. When you're in an area of the zone that is stable enough, like the Și aici, stați că să mă închid eu puțin. În stânga aici sus, like văd un fel de nivel de radiații, ceea ce e interesant, merge aminte de Fallout. Pretty pretty cool. Junction we're in now, you'll need a certain amount of anchor energy based on how far you are from the garage to make your escape. Storm warning. Up, use the arc device to open a gateway at a safe distance from your current location. And then get a move on. 
Once a gateway is open, or if you've chosen to linger too long in a junction, an instability storm is guaranteed to appear. Deci dacă stai prea mult într-un loc, vine un instability storm. That is cool. Closing in around you, it may not seem dangerous at first, but getting caught spells certain doom. When you see red in your rear view, you really are on borrowed time. Floor it. Ah, ok, deci au luat cum a venit conceptul ăsta din Fortnite de bulă care se închide, numai că nu se închide, vine deasupra ta când stai prea mult într-un loc. Pretty cool! Dar foarte... Foarte mișto stilul artistic, adică paleta asta de culori prin OLED în 4K. Bine, e shitty stream-ul și eu nu înțeleg de ce în 2024 mai dă un clip urcat în 1080p, dar whatever, nu mai contează. Uh, dar ăsta, like în 4K pe un OLED, dacă are și HDR, cre mamă, cred că stopește ochii la ce um, amazing se fac culorile astea. We made it back and with a good haul of resources. We should though talk about what happens when you die out in the zone. We won't oh. spoil too much now, but there's this more to this more. garage in your car than at first glance. If you die, you'll still return to the garage and the game continues. I'll be with your ride in a worse state than when you started. The materials you gather. De ok, deci când, când mori te de înapoi de la garaj, dar uh, îți dă cu daună maximă la mașină. Don't worry though, there's a way stai, stai, stai. Ca mai zis ceva interesant despre resurse, ce se întâmplă cu resursele când mori. Materials you gathered will also be forfeit. A, deci ca în orice alt survival game, da, odată dacă ai crăpat, îți pierzi resursele pe care le-ai adunat. Don't worry though, there's a way to recover those resources. And if your car is in particularly rough shape, well, the zone's a bit strange and sometimes even helpful. There are a few things around the garage that can help you get back on your feet. Fortunately, we made it back with our car more or less intact. So we can head into the back room of the garage and spend our anchor energy. At the fabrication station, you can spend the anchor energy and materials you've gathered to print new crafting... Bă, meniul ăsta nu e făcut de oameni care au experiență în uh, UX sau user experience. Ar fi trebuit, like, mucio simplificados. Eu înțeleg că sunt foarte tehnici și că au, like, are o logică și probabil dacă îl joci o jumătate de oră înțelegi tot ce vrea să spună meniul ăsta. Dar e, like, off-putting, adică nu vreau să dam 70 de miliarde de combinații, de că, ok, înțeleg, astea să cum se mai cheamă? Taburi separate. Ok, I get that. Fiecare face că du, dar simplifică ce căcate aici. Adică chiar am nevoie să știu ce doi galben cu poartă, după aia doi cu normal, după aia semnul întrebării cu doi, asta nici nu știu ce e, după aia încă 70.000 de mii de chestii pe ei, după aia, dude, make it simple. Că dacă vrei să atragi cât mai multă lume, că așa face Pal World 70 de milioane de jucători în două, două ore. Recipes that help you survive and explore the zone. For now though, we're going to build something new. There's plenty to add to the garage, but certain stations can also be enhanced and improved. These garage upgrades have additional tiers that can unlock new parts to craft using zone materials, resulting in better, stranger equipment. When you cool. play Pacific Drive, we want your relationship with your car to be a personal one, and one of the ways that we do this is with our quirk system. Over time, your car will develop more interesting characteristics. These quirks are randomly generated, but the types of behaviors your car develops will be familiar to anyone who... Deci mașina o să aibă behavioral quirks care sunt randomly generated, adică o să aibă un fel de personalitate. ...is driven an old vehicle. Many of these are harmless. Ah, a spus dacă ai condus vreodată un vehicul vechi. Deci cum ar veni că, I don't know, la un moment dat o să presupun că o să se desufle roata spate stânga mai rapid sau ceva în genul ăsta. La asta se referă, un fel de debuff. And some even helpful, but when they become more of a hindrance, it's time to get it fixed. Ok, that's cool. E ca un fel de în returnal, îți paraziția aia pe care iei și îți dau și cu plus și cu minus uneori. Și depinde de tine atunci, acolo să-ți să alegi tu. Dar aici văd că e randomly generated. Deci câteodată îți dă cu plus, câteodată îți dă cu minus, câteodată ambele. Și trebuie să, trebuie să înțelegi ce, ce fac fiecare, ce face fiecare ca să te adaptezi. Păi, sună pretty nice. Fiindcă îți dă tot timpul un mini obiectiv și tot timpul aia, aia în spatele capului. Ok, I, sper să nu fac damage 12% fiindcă după aia începe să-mi bată, să-mi troncă ne pe spate. Enter the tinker station. With it, you can try to diagnose the problem. Fii atent ce aici. Fii atent ce aici. Tu, prea, prea complicate căcatul ăsta. E prea multă informație inutilă. 
if your analysis is correct, or even partially so, the station lets you know, and once a quirk has been identified, it can be fixed for a cost. You'll have to listen to your car to figure out what's wrong, but if you're struggling with the process, you can upgrade the station to make the diagnosis easier. The garage is always safe. A respite from the chaos of the zone. Unload your trunk, turn on some tunes. Fiat in Jedi. The garage is always safe. A respite from the chaos of the zone. Unload. E prea mult. E prea mult. Sunt prea multe meniuri cu prea multe din astea. E, e foarte off-putting. Adică e off-putting pentru mine, mă. Îți respingătoare chestiile astea. Asta. Apa e pentru average gamer. Turn on some tunes, catch your breath, and take a moment to tend to your car and nurse it back to health. You'll be mighty glad you did the next time you're barreling down a hill, beset by anomalies, racing towards a gateway. All of the necessary repairs Why? can be done by Couple. hand, and there are garage stations that can do some of the work for you. That said, you might be better off recycling an especially busted panel and then using some of the crafting materials that you get back to build yourself an upgraded part, or at least a fresh one. In Pacific Drive, everything can be installed in multiple places on the car. Maybe that means you put a saddlebag on the driver's side for easy access to spare tools, or maybe it means putting a nitro boost on the front bumper for when you need to back out of a sticky situation and do it fast. And it's not just functional and structural parts that can be customized when it comes to making a car your own. Paint all the panels and doors with whatever colors you collect down the zone, and if you find them, there are decal kits that can be applied as well. Beyond that, there are multiple other slots where you can install the various cosmetic trinkets and stickers you find while exploring, assuming you can successfully make it back with them in your trunk. With our well, fine, repaired and and detailed, it's time for the next expedition. Our last trip was successful, so the route we took gets uploaded to the system and reveals new junctions to explore. But that won't be the only thing that's changed. The zone's instability will have randomized certain aspects of the map. So take stock, plan your destination, get your car, da? and get back on the road. From Seth, myself, and everyone on the Pacific Drive team, thank you so much for checking out our gameplay summary. We hope you've learned a bit more about surviving out in the zone, and we can't wait to see you behind the wheel on February 22nd. Pre-order Pacific Drive now on PlayStation 5, Steam, and the Epic Game Store. Thanks for watching, and remember, the only way out is through. Da, nu e pe Xbox. Doar pe PC și PlayStation 5. Stai că mi-au... Uh... Așa. 22 februarie mi-au copyright dacă las ăla. Da, eu cred că trebuia să sară, pe lângă că trebuia să sară în development, de chestiile alea super complicate și trebuiau reduse la 10% din ce s acum, cred că trebuia să sară în prezentarea asta de ele. E, e foarte off-putting. Și dacă pentru cineva ca mine care stă și disecă trailere și înțelege, like, nu, mă, nu mă încântă deloc alea. Că trebuia să sară complet, să, tre să te trezești la like, incremental cu ele în timpul gameplay-ului, fiindcă oricum nu presupun că din secunda, do din secunda a doua a jocului îți dă meniul ăla, buf, descurcă-te. Cred că e uh, high-end, advanced, dar uh, ar fi trebuit să ne trezim cu ele în joc și nu aici. Fiind, cred că le-a dăunat la, la orice casual FIFA, Call of Duty player. Se uită la ăsta și spune, ia mă, să vă zic ce e vorba. Vede că catul ăla spune... No way. Da, cam asta a fost. Lăsați și voi uh, părerile în comentarii și ne vedem uh, next time. Numai bueno.